to use magic to fix the stage now, right? What happened? Oh, no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box, right? This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowell in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Uh, the... the serial disappearances case? <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before! <laughs> I know. I know the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really, using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. No, oh, this all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. That can't be right. How can Lenny do this? He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We can even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He could have possibly mean catching himself. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that he... well, I, uh... I think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. That's right. I mean you, Traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. But with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. So, no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles! Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed, 
and as such, a trial is in order. Well, traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you, are you willing to act as Mr. Limmy's attorney and defend him in this case? Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? Good to hear. Thank you so much for trusting me. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But, if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not, and I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Which is precisely why we need to investigate! As this book says, <clears throat> The impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. Paima bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? Don't worry, Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. You have good taste, Lynette! <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> Thanks for that. We'll be counting on you. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, just leave it to us. Oh, uh, since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Ah, oh, well, I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage and the seating areas. Alright, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case! Hello, officer. How's the investigation going? <laughs> <laughs>